Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your January to February reading of this current year. I had some helium just to brighten your day. Yes, it'll go back to normal in a minute. Actually, every time I breathe oxygen, I think, but it'll lower down here in a second. Okay, Aquarius, or not Aquarius, Pisces, my bad. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your chart. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, way it goes. No point worrying about shit that has nothing to do with you or ain't none of your damn business, as we all know. Pisces and Cross Watchers, right? Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah, if you want a parcel, it's down in the description box. First one's on the house, no worries. Anyway. Uh, Pisces and cross watchers. It seems like you guys got a slight dilemma here, and I'm not sure what that's about, but it's definitely something to do with love, right? You're kind of indecisive about what kind of choices to make, but you are moving a little bit more towards um, walking away from something over here because there are regrets of something that you definitely have. The situation, King of Pentacles, either someone doesn't feel like a provider, you might be done with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm, I'm not sure, but it's like there's something wrong with them, and it's like they're either not healing, not communicating, not doing something. Maybe not reaching out, maybe not fixing themselves of some sorts. I'm not sure, but it's like. You know, King of Pentacles can sometimes be a fibber. But I feel like um, if he's fibby, it's about how he works or something like that. They're like, there's something fucky with them, right? Uh, over here we have decisions and choices. Once again, you're looking at options right now, mainly on whether or not to leave a person or a situation or a thing, despite the fact you care about them so much. Unfortunately, the obstacle and challenge before you is betrayal. Um, either something that makes you happy or it could be a Leo. Who knows? Kitten, do you want up here? Come. Yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. Anyway, Pisces. Mmm, I love you, kittens. Mwah. Sorry, she just got up here and she smells beautiful because I gave her a bath. So, she did not like the bath, but she got one, bitch. Now, the fears and rejections, it could possibly this earth sign again. But it's like you're afraid they're going to fix their broken heart, or are you afraid they're going to fix yours? <coughs> Now in the situation below, how it, or not the situation, but how this shit starts, how it'll end. We're living in a betrayal, possibly with some sort of mother figure. Um, could be a Taurus, so you could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be Libra and Aries as well, but there's not much fire here, so it's like, whatever. Well, there's Libra, but, you know. But I feel like you're, like, you got a lot of Earth here, so you might have some Earth in you. Or someone does. Um, your beginning theme is trying to learn how to, basically, um feel things again, or love again, or some shit, or something, like, if something it hurts you, who hurt you, because fuck them, anyway, um, either something hurts you, or I don't know what it was, but you tell them, like, I'm gonna find them, <laughs> you wanna bless these kitten, yeah, you do, yeah, you do, that's a good girl, hmm, so let's see. Oh, Pisces. So what's up with this uh, energy where you feel like you're indecisive about what the fuck to do because you got regrets? You got one cloud coming in being like, hey, I got this. You haven't turned your back to it yet or dumped it out. So it's definitely an option right there. It's like it came from the clouds or heaven. Uh, someone might be crazy and turn their back to things. Might be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Definitely could be air sign involved here for sure too. But it's like, someone's crazy and turns their back to things, you know? Or maybe you're doing that? You know, it's not like there's anybody to fight, and like, here, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it looks like there's a bad relationship that might be coming to light, and it's happening way more quickly than what you thought. Well, it's not that it's coming to light, but that it might be, um, doing whatever. But someone might be turning their back to what makes them emotionally happy and feeling other things out. Too busy, like, building up their statue to make sure their tits look nice, right? All these bitches have their backs turned, like... 
How many bitches did you, do you have, Pisces? <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like someone's like losing their shit about their mind, about what makes them happy. And they're gonna try, it's like they're gonna try to focus on something completely different, but it's like... Like, are you lo losing your shit over somebody or something? I don't know. King of Pentacles reverse with the star reverse. I feel like a fibber about something with communications or lies or whatever. Right? Some quick movement might be disastrous. Something might happen drastically that'll change things. Probably not for the better and kind of ruin a dream right here. The fuck does that mean? Holy shit. Who are you dealing with, y'all? Like, whoever this provider figure is, doesn't even have to be an earth sign, really. But it's like, whoever they are in this position of, like... It, like, it could be you, Pisces, for sure. Because, like, you guys really like taking care of people that you care about. But it's like, this person who isn't much of a provider, like... I feel like they're not nice. In some way. And something's gonna change to where, like... Something opens... It's like, you know, everyone likes saying live in the dream, but people forget that nightmares are dreams too, just with a lot of more like thriller and, and like jump scares, right? Well, not really, because like dreams are actually kind of cool. They don't have jump scares, but still it's like something kills a dream right here or makes it into a nightmare or something changed. Hmm. Mind you, Pisces, I don't see you really anywhere on the board at all so this is probably somebody you're dealing with maybe somebody older maybe too i'm not sure or they got an old soul which means they should know better <laughs> x-ray Sorry, I was writing somebody real quick. Like a co ask the worker's asking me for a ride. Well, not a, a current co-worker, an old one, but still. Anyway, Pisces. Wants and wishes with those two of pentacles. Almost, I, I feel like you're juggling between the choice of walking away. But I don't know what the other choice is, but you're leaning more towards that. So at least you're being decisive. Possibly from a home situation. It's, it, it, it. it it's being like, eh. Yeah, it's kind of like you want to go deliver your cup somewhere else. It almost, it seems like. Hmm. How interesting. Why are you getting... Alright, you know what? I'm dropping another one because I'm, I'm a nosy bitch, right? Like, that's that's what we do. We nose around, we cheek around, we be sneaks this sometimes. We just want, we just want to know 99% of the drama. We just don't want to be involved in it. That's 1%. Fuck that shit. <laughs> it's almost like you are biding your time. There you are. You're finally showing up. Yeah, it's like you want to go somewhere. I don't know who all these bitches are. Over yonder, because you have three of them. You even have the young empress, but the young empress is now older. A much more mature woman. Who should also know better. Who needs to fucking know better? Oh, well, I guess that's what I get for asking a question. Uh, something that didn't start was disastrous, and, and, and now it's, it's a free-for-all a little bit. And, you know, someone doesn't want to feel like a fool anymore. That's interesting. Here, kitten, I gotta put you down because I dropped a bunch of shit and I don't want to crush you with me belly. Let's see. Yeah, you guys got a little book, but it's a book none. Yeah, you got a book. Okay. Yeah. Um, verbalized words meant to like be like charge and attack shit, right? But it's like you're not being led into the temptation of getting into an argument or altercation. Like, you notice it. Look, bitch, like that hole right there is big enough to throw a hot dog down a hallway, right? Second, where are your damn shoes? Why are you expecting us to get the boogie down when you don't even have your shoes on? You know? Um, trying to repair a broken heart here by not taking a leap of faith with sorts. Is you see where things are going? Hmm. Ew. How interesting. I 
I'm trying to figure it out, Pisces, because it's like... Are you just trying to walk away from everyone and be like, you know what, I'm just going to be like a wandering bandit, because that's a lot more romantic anyway. You know, at least that gives me some shit to do. <laughs> at least that's what I think you're thinking a little bit, but I never know. You guys are water signs. You guys change all the time. Oh, let's see. Mm. Uh, Ten of Swords, a betrayal with the sun right here. Okay, so look at right here something. Like, it's like two people suffering the same fate. But it's like from different angles, you know, like what people refer to as mirroring, which, which well, yeah, that is my version of mirroring because it is kind of like exact opposites. Because with the mirror, yeah, you're doing the exact same shit to get the same results, but it's always the opposite. It's never the same. It's not it, like mirroring is not doing the exact same thing to me as the other person. It's doing the exact opposite of a person, but still getting the exact same results like a mirror because that makes sense. Or else we would be calling it mimicking, you know? But that's just me, right? But but see, it's like... One's got to go through something painful in order for the other one to survive. And it's like, what is this? It's like there's a slow-moving delivery. It's coming in the dark. We don't know when the fuck that's coming up, though. We don't. Because, you know, it's early. Um, what? You don't know if it's coming, but that's because it's not fated for you to know? You're not supposed to know? You're not supposed to know. That's some horse shit. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> what the hell? Like, oh my god, I hate when my cards cock block me. They do this every time. Well, not every time, but occasionally they will. Like, they, they're, sometimes there's things that I am not allowed to know because the fates, the gods, management, or whatever, um, whatever you want to call the universe or God or whatever, I, it's whatever you want to refer to, but, you know, management sometimes tells me I don't have, like, access to this um, data right here because I'm the wrong, like, work code or some shit. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. It's so fucking annoying, man. Just, ugh. Like, I work hard for this shit, damn it. Uh, well, it's not like I get paid anyway, so I guess I can't argue. Ugh. Let's see. Hmm. Cheers and rejections. Slowly but surely going to be like, hey, um, I'm, like, what? Is this, like, someone going back to a bad relationship or some sorts? Is that the fear, Pisces? And you being left out in the cold? Aww. How should it start? How it'll end? That's nice, you two. Thank you for the advertisement, son of a bitch. You went 20 minutes without one, but you just couldn't wait, could you? Ugh. Yeah, right here, it feels like a, a, a reminded betrayal of an empress, like, doesn't know where she's going, going in a mosh pit, just fighting and shit. It, it, like, this shit starts with somebody, I feel like, being aggressive, and then, like, now it's ending with aggression. Like, maybe so forward with, like, not being able to move forward with somebody who is different. Ones of land and ones of air. Or this empress is going to be combative as fuck to this person who doesn't match them. You know, temperance card. There's got to be patience, but it's like there's no forward movement with them. Once again, bitch with stinky feet just popped up. And now there's, like, fucking regrets here because there is a betrayal. Uh, I think something that you picked up, but kind of lied to yourself about, or someone lied about, right? And now, here's an ending. Someone sees disaster. 
order is out, someone's watching snakes, and someone not moving creates a disaster, and love is questionable, so you know. Communication is needed about a relationship with this empress who is now bitter, and how shit won't get resurrected because it's not going to work like it used to. Someone got caught in their shit, and now there's going to be an argument, probably over Queen of Pentacles. The counterpart to the King of Pentacles? You have like... Okay, whatever. You have like... Okay, anyway, we're clarifying. We're clarifying because... I don't know who's who in this, Pisces. But there's a lot of motherfuckers in your read. Now the Queen of Pentacles came up out of nowhere and it's like, where the fuck did she come from? She hasn't been here this entire time. Or are you acting like the King of Pentacles and not knowing what the fuck's going on here? Because I'll tell you, like, like, uh. You know, as an Earth sign, as a Capricorn in particular, I don't know what's going on 99% of the time, you know? So it's like, you might be in the energy of not knowing what's going on, I feel like, either. Like, you're just as confused as the next person. Yeah, someone got left to drown in your energy or whoever is Pisces and cross watchers but they didn't die so it's like oh fuck I, there's no reason for me to worry about the body because the body's still living shit you know uh, and they ain't delivering nothing not a damn thing down here some sort of lesson is averted again because it's already happened once like there are already dead bodies right here damn with the dead bodies but someone avoids the tower getting struck again. They don't have to learn the lesson again. Or they haven't learned it completely yet. But they'll do anything to make sure that shit don't happen. Yes, sir, Bob. It's like, ah, nothing is changing. I am not participating in this fall once again, you know. Unfortunately, they don't know how to go forward with that either. And the wants and wishes, Pisces and Cross Watchers, you know. Some self-healing needs to take place. You need to drink from the waters of life or from Gomart, wherever you want to go. It doesn't matter. Um, just don't worry about fucking up your feels. It's like, well, that's weird. It's like, you go to a spring, like someone goes to a spring water, but it always comes out fucky. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna one more on that, Pisces, because I'm not sure. It's like, why would you trying to take care of yourself sound like a fuck up? Oh, because you're listening to people. <laughs> That's why you're like, it's like, you know, I have to do this for honor. And people are like, shut the fuck up. You don't. Or someone coming to you about shit. Because it feels like you're almost scared of some sort of rejection, but it's like. From who? Like, because it seems like you're, you have somebody here. Well, you have quite a few people, but there's one prominent here. Who's not entirely passive, I will say. It seems like they got like some sort of streak going on. And I don't like how the chariot's shown up twice with this person because it's like they're causing chaos. All because they're insecure with themselves, I guess. Obstacles and challenges for you, Pisces, my dears. And cross watchers. Making excuses to keep the shit going. Even though it's not doing a damn thing for you. It's like someone keeps convincing you to fuck with them. Okay? It's like, it, it's, if this was a, an abusive relationship, it's like, not only does the person do it, but other people do it for them too. Just being like, oh, they're a good guy. Oh, they just got problems. Oh, this. It's like the person's likable, and it's hard for you to get away from them because of that. 
But there are other people in here too, and I don't know if all these other people are helping with this scenario too. It's like if you try to tell people what's going on, they tell you to lower your sword, put the gun down, young blood. There's no reason for you to get that excited. It's, it's shit. It happens, you know. But it's like, dude, you know you don't have to listen to any damn person, right? You know, I like, just don't give a fuck. Hey, like, well, it's probably harder for you because you're water. Well, you know, like, as a Capricorn, let me tell you, not giving the fuck has helped and fucked me up <laughs> quite a few times. Like, you know how many people have told me, you really don't give a shit about anything about me, do you? And I'm like, I don't give a shit about anything. Have you not known this about me? Like, I really don't. That's the art of not giving a fuck. What you let people know, you really don't about anything? Doesn't really matter too much anymore. So let's see. Fears or rejections? It's like you're gonna have to fight off a fucking demon. It, 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 there's something plaguing your mind here, brah. And you really want to open up and talk to somebody, but it's like you're kind of scared of that. This person could be the dragon. Who are you messing with? Tell them to fuck off. Ugh. I don't like this, Pisces. I don't like the fact that I feel like you're afraid of somebody. Or what they can do to you. Or whatever. It's, like, weird. I forgot to put down the ending theme for you. I did that for somebody else, too. And I can't remember why. Or who it was. But it was somebody. But, yeah. Like, I don't like how this person makes you feel. Like, there's something... Like, there's something that's gonna pop up here. And there's a there's something that... like. Yeah, I, actually, I, didn't I say that in your New Year's read that I did for you guys? Something's gonna click in your head and your intuition's gonna click back on like it was supposed to be on. But it's like... It's almost like hitting your Zodiac adult age where it's, you realize, wait, why am I putting up with this shit? I don't have to do that. Like... I don't know. It's almost like someone's used to it or something. I don't know. But I don't like it. I don't like the fact that, like, you try to get support from people... And they convince you you're wrong, you know. Like, you know why advice is like, look, you can take anybody's advice, but I don't mean you have to fucking listen. It's their advice. You're the only person who knows what's best for you. I will say that, but it's like you're taking people's consideration way too much, you know? Yeah. You know, how it should start, how it'll end. You know, you're trying to drop some swords and fix your broken heart, but you play yourself and you become somebody's pet. The literal fuck. I don't like this, Pisces. Is this either you or this is somebody you're dealing with? For sure, Pisces and Crosswatcher. But it's like... It's like someone's getting convinced that they're wrong when they're not. Let me drop your ending theme because I almost forgot to do that. What's your ending theme, my dears? You're trying to... Fix your broken heart. You're standing on your tiptoes. But it's like you can't let go of a Betty. Or you can't let go of your Bettys. Or there's people are like, hmm. It's like not being able to let go of something. Like, are you stuck on an X or some shit? Hmm, you know, I don't I don't want to accuse anybody of doing anything dirty or anything like that, but you know. It happens. It always happens. That's just, that's just the part of life, you know. People may not like it, but it, it does something for all of us. It teaches us things, right? But it's like... I don't know, man. Someone needs decked in the snaws. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that was your reading, Pisces. So if this... If you like this read... Uh, you can like, share, subscribe. No pressure, of course. It's up to you. I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys' faces. Please take care, because this seems like... It's like a mess. I said somebody else is a mess, too, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.